The Planet Man. The Planet Man. This is the fascinating story of Dan Tro, the Planet Man, troubleshooter for the League of Planets organization, the law enforcement body for peace and justice in the celestial world, whose headquarters and center of operations are situated on the capital of all the planets, Planaria Rex. From Mercury to Pluto, wherever danger threatens the universe, you will find Dan Tro, the Planet Man, fighting for fair play. In a moment, the Planet Man. You will recall that Planet Man and Slats, trapped on the hot planet Torino, were confronted with a deadlock. Klee, ruler of Torino, had the Alpha powerless in a de-energizing field. But before they left the ship, Planet Man had set the circuits so the ship would explode and destroy the entire planet. If he and Slats were not back on board in six hours. Oh, brother, these termites certainly changed their tune. They found out what you'd done to the Alpha. Tyrrhenians, not termites, Slats. Well, as far as I'm concerned, they're termites. Are you coming out? I thought you were in such a hurry to see Clee. We're coming now, then. We just checked our respirators. may be safer in these spacesuits, but it was a lot more comfortable in that special compartment. We can't have it both ways, Slats. Come along. Come along. Clee is waiting. So what? Let him wait. We were waiting for him for three hours. But if the ship is set to blow up, there isn't much time. Time enough if you try any tricks. Either way, then. What is this then tells me? That you threaten to destroy this planet if we do not return you to your ship. That's about it, Kling. But it isn't a threat. It's a promise. You have just two and a half hours now. Do you really think you're in a position to make threats? If you didn't think so, we'd still be stewing back in those rooms. You're a very clever planet man. But what have you gained? Even though you get back to your ship, it won't solve your problem. Perhaps not, but it won't help you any. Suppose we stop playing games and get down to cases. What's this all about? Now you're really showing some sense. There is a way, a simple way for you two to continue on. Yeah, I'll bet some simple little thing like murder. It is lucky for you, Earthman, that I have a use for you, or you would pay dearly for your insolence. Let's stay on the subject, Lee. What do you want? Your help in a little local matter. With the weapons and knowledge you have, and that ship, it would take only a few moments. And then you could be on your way. What do you mean, a local matter? Unfortunately, despite Zen's enthusiasm, I am not quite in complete control of this planet. One small segment has succeeded in resisting. I could overcome them eventually myself, but it would take time and trouble. With your help, it will be over like that. A pocket edition of Mars. What's that? Nothing, please. Tell me, suppose we refuse, what then? Then your ship will stay right where it is. And you will never be able to help your people. Oh, it's that way, is it? We must have time to think about this. Have Zen take us back to the ship. I had hoped you would remain here in the special quarters we prepared for you. What's the matter? Aren't they comfortable enough? Is there something else you wish? You know we must return to the ship and change the setting on the emergency circuit. But then, why not return here? Surely your quarters on board ship must be cramped. Yeah, but they're private. What do you mean by that? You know what I mean. You had a mic planted in that room. You listened to everything we said. That's enough. Then, have that Earthman removed permanently and do it slowly. I want him to have time to realize the mistake he made in insulting Clee of Terrino. Yes, Clee. Guards, come here. Please, Hold it, hold it. I'm in it, Clee. 
Stop those men if you value your life and the life of your planet. Don't be a fool, planet man. You will be allowed to return to your ship. Why risk your life? If you die too, what will happen to your people? There's nothing to discuss, Clea. If Slash dies, this planet dies with him. The circuit on that ship is set to go off in the neurotic pattern of either Slats or myself ceases to emanate. Then, then, stop. That was close. Thanks, Dato. All right, Slats. Come on, we'll go back to the ship. I'll go with you. Never mind, we'll find our way. Just authorize us to use your vapor. Let them go, then. But remember, Planet Man, I'm waiting for your answer. And I won't wait too long. Don't worry, you'll get your answer soon enough. Let's go, Slat. Hey, this little vapor buggy goes right along. Say, Danto, you aren't really thinking of helping that pre I mean, going to that deal he offers. I don't want to, Slat, you know that. But I can't forget how much Judge Augustus and the League are counting on us. I just don't know what to do. Dantro and Slats are really in a dilemma. What will they do about Clee's proposal? We'll be back in a moment. So, level off. When we left Danto and Slats, they had just left Klee to return to their helpless ship, the Alpha. Klee offered to release them if they helped him destroy his enemies on the planet Torino. We find our friends as they arrive at the Alpha's landing area. Hello, Beryl. Has anyone been near the ship? Several of the natives approached, but they did not attempt to enter. They did not realize what I was and talked quite freely. They had been warned by Zen who told them not to tamper with the ship. They seemed quite angry. Yeah, I'll bet they were. Let's get aboard. Well, certainly good to be back aboard the Alpha. Yes, it is. It's the closest thing we'll have to home for a while. We could only take off and leave Clee and his whole ugly, smoky planet behind. I, too, would be glad to bid goodbye to Torino. Hey, why don't you give the controls a try? Go on, try them. All right, Slats, we've got nothing to lose. Here goes. No good, eh? I'm afraid not. Then I really didn't expect anything to happen. Lee isn't going to let us off that easily. Maybe Beryl has some idea. How about it? Beryl, can you think of an angle to get us off this hook? I am afraid not, Slats. I fear you overestimate my abilities. I am only a machine built to perform certain functions. An exploratory device. Yeah, but you certainly seem to be able to think. True. I can reason within limits. Just a moment. I sense the approach of a being. Take a look out the observation port slats. You see anything? Yeah, it's another one of those octopus guys. Shall I go outside? What for? He may wish to communicate with you, and I can transcode. Don't let him waste. There's nothing more we have to say to him, is there, Dental? Not really, but perhaps Barrow had better go. It can't do any harm. At once. Man. This individual has a message for you. What is it? Is he from Clee? No. He comes from an enemy of Clee's. Well, he must be from that part of the planet that Clee hasn't conquered yet. Maybe he's come to help us. Has he come to offer us help, Barrel? No. He comes to ask your help against Klee. That's fine, isn't it? Everybody wants us to get into the act. Ask him if he knows how we can get out of the de-energizing field that Klee has turned on the ship. I already have. He says no. His leader sent him to enlist your aid. They heard about the ship. Tell him we're trapped here. He wants to know if you are going to help Klee. Well, what can I tell him, Slats? I don't even know yet myself. Farrell, tell him not if we can help it. Very well. He is going back to his leader to report. I'll come in. Come ahead. Well, welcome home, Beryl. I said burns me up. <laughs> Look at his ship. Power in every inch of it. Yeah. 
Listen to that, will you? Power to take us to the other side of the galaxy in one jump. And the astral drive here. You... Careful, Fletch. Ah, what's the difference? Doesn't work. Fletch, what happened? I don't know. I, I threw the switch and it worked. What's the difference? We're, we're free. It worked. Cut it off, Fletch, quickly. I don't know what the setting was. I don't know where we're headed. Cut it off. Okay. Hey, I can't. The, the switch moves, but the drive, the drive won't cut out. It's got to, Slut. With the speed we have, we're liable to leave the galaxy, and we might never be able to find our way back. I know, but but it won't stop. Look. Look, look there. You can see. You can see for yourself. It just won't cut out. Dantro and Slats are really in trouble now. What can they do to stop the astral drive before it is too late? We'll be back in a moment, but first, here is a message the Planet Man wants you to hear. Again for more transcribed thrills and adventures. Rocket millions of light years into space with Dan Troll, the Planet Man. The Planet, 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 Planet Man. Planet.